Hey everybody, Trisha Brooke here, founder of the Big Talk Academy, award-winning director and author. I am so excited for this next series of the Big Talk on my YouTube channel. We have 17 speakers who spoke at the Big Talk Academy's virtual showcase, and each one of them is unique. Each one of them is incredible. They all bring a very special idea to the table and they all deliver in a very powerful and unique way. I am super excited for you to be introduced to each speaker from the Big Talk Academy's January 7th virtual showcase. Enjoy. Maria Johnson. In 2013, Maria Johnson experienced severe vision loss in both eyes and was diagnosed with a rare condition called Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy, Elhan. This diagnosis called her to become legally, caused her to become legally blind in a matter of months. It also led her to create and launch her website and blog, Girl Gone Blind, in early 2014. She is a mom of two kids, a group fitness instructor, blogger, podcaster, and speaker living in San Diego, California. Please welcome Maria Johnson, Choosing Possibility Over Disability. It was a beautiful fall day. The morning was cold, the coffee was hot, and the view outside my kitchen window was fading, whether I admitted it or not. While the kids were at school, I decided to drive into town to run some errands. I was feeling anxious, but I was not going to let that stop me. I grabbed the keys and jumped into the driver's seat. I took a deep breath and I pulled out of the driveway just as I've done thousands of times before. At one point, I may have run a red light. I really wasn't sure, but the honking of horns led me to believe that I did. You're okay. Keep going, you're almost there. I tightened the grip on the steering wheel and I pulled into the parking lot. I made it. I was filled with relief as I parked the car. I hopped out and I walked over to the stores. With a couple of bags in one hand and flowers in the other, I could feel my anxiety rising again as I approached my car. Now I had to drive home. You can do it. Just take the side streets. Yeah, that'll be easier. I managed to drive the few miles home, possibly running a stop sign or two, but I really didn't care. I was just so relieved to have made it home without any major or minor mishaps. As I sat in the car, the relief I felt was quickly washed away by a wave, a tsunami sized wave of sadness. I was going blind, and I was told the day would come when I could no longer drive safely. That day, that very moment had come. I knew I would never drive again. Six weeks earlier, at the age of 50, I was diagnosed with a rare mitochondrial disease called Labor's Hereditary Optic Neuropathy, or LHON. LHON, when triggered, causes parts of the optic nerve to dysfunction and die. When the optic nerve can no longer function, it cannot transmit visual images from the retina to the brain, causing vision loss and ultimately legal blindness. Currently, there is no treatment or cure for LHON. About a week after that somewhat sketchy drive to the store, I was deemed legally blind by my doctor. I could no longer see the eye chart on the wall. I could no longer see colors or text of any size. My, I could no longer see my doctor's face or anyone's face for that matter. As I sat sobbing in the exam room chair, all I could say was, how could this happen to me? I cannot believe I'm blind. My doctor scooted his chair closer to mine and said, Maria, you need to be an example for your friends and family on how you handle this. You're strong 
and I know you can do this. I looked up at my doctor through the, through the foggy veil that now covered my vision and said, Are you kidding me? I'm blind. How am I going to do this? Devastated wouldn't come close to describing how I felt. My friends and family didn't understand or know what to say. Daily tasks and activities got hard. My phone, computer, and household appliances were impossible to use. I had so many questions. How was I going to get anywhere if I couldn't drive? Was my career as a group fitness instructor over? Could I be the mom I wanted to be if I was blind? Nothing, I mean nothing, seemed possible. My world was falling apart and I was falling into a place that I didn't think I could ever get out of. I kicked, I screamed, I stumbled, I cried, I denied, I panicked, I fought, I yelled, I listened, I grieved, I prayed, I raged, I paused, I broke down. I was so emotionally exhausted, and in my mind I thought I had two choices. Give up or get up. I got up. Although on most days I felt fragile and frustrated, I soon felt a spark of strength and determination. I needed to talk to other people who were in my shoes. I needed to wrap my head around my disability in a different way because in reality, it was here to stay. I found local organizations that provided classes and services for the blind. I got into therapy and attended support groups, which helped me rebuild my confidence, courage, and trust. I was introduced to accessibility and assistive technology that helped me to use my computer, phone, and other devices in a totally different way. I signed up for blind cooking classes, and although they were fun, I gained 10 pounds and, well, I'm still a horrible cook. I took orientation and mobility training and learned to use a white cane. The white cane gave me back independence and also the magical ability to part a crowd without saying a word. I found friendship and camaraderie with others who were blind. They encouraged me to take on and do the hard things. They demonstrated resilience, which showed me that living with a disability was possible when all I could see was impossible. The vision we have for our life can change at any moment. Yeah, life can blindside us. It may not be as traumatic as going blind, but the experience can be devastating, painful, and scary. Sometimes it can become too much for us to handle and we may find ourselves sinking under our circumstances. However, we have two choices. We can let the situation crush us or we can get up and crush it. I never thought I would make it through that first year with vision loss, but I did. And that was seven years ago. By choosing to get up and look for what's possible, you can get through the hard times. And perhaps you can be that example for someone else who needs to see it. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Big Talk Academy's virtual showcase, supporting these incredible speakers. If you have the desire to speak on my virtual stage, go to thebigtalkacademy.com for more information. This is a 12 week certification speaker training program that is going to give you everything that you need to have the global impact you desire. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you get access to all of our latest episodes. I love having you here and I always respond to the comments. Big love.